More. Right now, we're going to Washington to the headquarters of the American Farm Bureau Federation, and we check in with Paul Schlegel, Vice President of Public Affairs for the American Farm Bureau Federation. And here we are in August. They call it a recess. I call it a vacation, Paul. But what's happening right now? Well, uh, it, it's maybe something in between there. It is a recess, but it's a chance for members of Congress and policymakers to get out to their districts and back to their states and talk to the people. And we as representatives of farmers and ranchers, we want to take every opportunity we have to talk to policymakers, to tell them what they're doing, how it affects us, and what we'd like them to do. So it, it's a very meaningful time in, in the con congressional calendar. Do most of the congressmen get back to their district during this period? Sure. Yeah, I, I think generally that's true. You know, it, it might vary from member to member or state to state, but I do think most members want to take this chance to get out and find out, take the pulse of their constituents if you have it. It might be more important in some districts that, say, are competitive uh, in the political process, but I think by and large members do want to get a chance to find out what their constituents are thinking and how they're feeling about issues. This is a feeling I've had and I've been critical of Congress. I say they're doing a lot more investigating than legislating. We haven't seen much meaningful legislation come out, have we? Well, I guess in one sense I, I can't dispute what you're saying. Um, but uh, it's true that uh, Congress is investigating. One, one of their responsibilities, remember, it is oversight. And so you want them to look at programs, how they're operating, how they're funded, do they do what Congress intended. So that's a, that's a legitimate public purpose. But, but you are right. There are some things. Broadband is a perfect example. It's a bill, there are bills in the House and the Senate we're working to get done. There's a, we'd like to get some agricultural labor stuff done as well. Um, and we'd like to see more, but they did pass a disaster assistance package and USMCA, we're hoping that's in the pipeline to get done. So we'd like to have more, but you always want more than you get. And where we can, we want to have an influence on the, uh, on the process. That U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement is crucial. I mean, and, and is the clock ticking here on the approval of that? Well, it, it, the implementing legislation has not been sent to Capitol Hill. The earliest that could happen would be in September. So um, in, in a sense, the clock is ticking, but we, we do what we're trying to do now is everything we can to shore up support for the for the for the whole uh, package deal. As you know, Mexico has passed it in Canada at the moment. They're in recess so that because of their elections and they haven't. But what what we have been doing, Farm Bureau and all the groups that are behind it, is to go to legislators one by one. It's kind of not trench warfare, but you really want to take the time to talk to each legislator. If they have concerns, find out what those concerns are. Make sure that you shore them up. And so once we get the support there and the votes are there, we hope the president will send his implementing bill to Congress and we can get the votes and pass it. But you're absolutely right. It's a critical issue. Well, Paul, we appreciate the fact that while everybody else is out of town, you continue to work. Thanks so much for joining us from the Farm Bureau offices. Paul Schlegel, Vice President with the American Farm.